Hello everybody and welcome to the second update of this game here. Um, I mostly just wanted to show that I've been getting a little bit more done. Uh, there are enemies now, almost. <laughs> Nothing too smart, they basically just spawn and know where you're at. I plan to change that, but for now I just wanted to get something more up to test the systems out. Uh, here. Oh, tits. <laughs> um, although I designed this game with a controller in mind, I tried my best this time to make the game a bit more accessible to people without controllers as opposed to one of my previous games. Uh, that was designed once again with a controller in mind and was okay on the keyboard, but wasn't great. Um, so this one here, I got the pause, which is escape, and then you can select things with enter, uh, move things around with either the WASD or the arrow keys, and then press backspace to back out. Since, uh, what is it, the IJKL also work as, um, the, you know, button pad on a controller, you could also just press L to exit out. Shit. <laughs> um, here. Oh dear. Could also see. Oh, like turn down the spawn multiplier, and put the level multiplier to half. Of course, that isn't going to change the game suddenly. That just changes how the spawners work. Um, so all the new enemies that will spawn will be half my level. Um, and will only spawn half of the uh, base product. Which I think the base amount of people that get spawned is 5. But the way the game works currently, it just takes the... Uh, current amount of enemies on screen as opposed to um, the other spawners so if there's only five like if there's only four enemies um, and the max amount of enemies that can be on screen is five um, all four of them on each corner of the map will spawn one leaving to uh, eight enemies as opposed to simply five Um, strength currently just upgrades the attack damage, uh, endurance does your stamina and, oh dear, um, endurance does your stamina and health and dexterity does the speed that you move at and how fast bolts will shoot out. Currently sanity doesn't do anything, so I'm not going to upgrade that at all. Uh, there we go. As you can see, now we're dispatching enemies with a little bit more ease. Um, the way the enemies work are here. Game. And that should be good. All right, so the way the enemies work is the uh, their leveling system is basically they attribute, uh, well, they get certain amount of skill points depending on their level so for like the level 10 here he has uh, nine skill points and the level twos have one and they basically randomly attribute that to one of their three stats the strength attack and speed or strength health and speed so you can kind of like get a gauge of who's got what depending on how much health they have ah, tits like the ones that go down a lot easier probably don't have as much attack going on as opposed to ones with a lot <laughs> uh, tits like this level 12 here we can probably gauge how much attack he has by letting him hit us he put six attack uh, six attribute points into his strength um, 
what level was he? 12? So he had 11, so that means a couple of them went probably into his health. It doesn't seem that a lot of them put their stuff in the speed, or if it does, it doesn't affect them too much. Obviously, some of them are a little bit faster than others, especially as the levels get up higher. Uh, probably shouldn't have put the level spawner at twice of my um, level. Ah. Oh, uh, I might as well stay here. So every level you get one skill point, and every five levels you get uh, two. So let's add some there, one there, and add a little bit of speed. But what I want to do is take down the level multiplier, because they're just way too much for me right now. There we go. Obviously, this is all just really basic um, stuff I got going on. Like, you got the stamina here for sprinting. Um, since I'm only using the buttons that you'd find on a SNES controller, uh, I didn't make any buttons specifically make the uh, run button. While you're not aiming, you will sprint. And then when you do aim, uh, you'll slow down at about a quarter of the speed that you can run at. Um, if you hit zero stamina, you will slow down to a crawl and you won't be able to run until you le uh, reach at least half of your, um, oh cool, at least half of your stamina, all the leveling up appears to um, cure that right up, so if you're in a pinch, hopefully you can level up. I definitely find this easier to play with a controller. Right now I'm using the keyboard and I think it works all right. Like, you know, it's a uh, space to shoot, WSD to move, and the itch call, I guess, to aim. And that all seems fine. It might be beneficial to move the uh, aim thing over to the arrow keys like the Binding of Isaac does, but I'm uncertain of that at the moment. Um, the lasers do cut through the walls, but that's, you know, just because right now it's not being uh, a ray cast or anything to shoot this laser out. It's just a, um, what is it? Simple script that tells um, an object to move in a local position uh, adjacent to my character. And then I just draw a line between them. And that's where this, uh, laser beam is coming from on the controller you get a little bit more freedom with your uh, laser beam and you're not so stuck to just the eight positions that uh, the four buttons will allow but I feel the four buttons do give a bit more of a solid aim as opposed to when you use the uh, what is it? Right analog stick, which gives you a bit of a wobbly aim. All right, let's uh, put everything in endurance, backspace, go in the game, turn the spawn multiplier up to its max, and the multi level multiplier up to max. And just try to Hold out. I don't think I'll honestly be able to with level 24s to my level 12. Especially when it's spawning five times the enemies that it has been spawning. Like I said, the base spawn is five, so that means that there's at least 25 to 30 enemies right now. And these 28s could probably hit really fucking hard. Oh dear. <laughs> Ow. There's just too many. I 
Now obviously there's a lot more to do. The next thing I'm trying to um, accomplish is so that all these enemies don't just know where you're at the minute they spawn. I'm hoping to, um, what is it, waver it off a bit and make it so that uh, they have more of a sight radius um, that activates them when you get close enough and or, you know, more of a sneak function, I guess, so that you don't have to fight every enemy you see. You do have options to run, um, hide, you know, just sneak around and avoid enemies. Um, what is it? I plan on putting a, a limited bullet, like, ah, shoot, a limited bullet number in here, but I'm not entirely sure if I'd like that or not, just considering how, uh, the game is currently well when you die you know you get you reach uh, health zero you reset the game um, that's about all I have to show right now thank you for watching um, I guess I'll see you next time I have something to show bye bye